Hello, how's it going? In today's video, I'll be covering Cyrook and the breaking of the elements, as well as the darkening of Karabor. So let's go! The Orcs had gained control of a large chunk of Draenor, and Blackhand commanded them to gather near the Temple of Karabor. This was probably going to be the biggest battle of the war on the Draenor thus far. If they could destroy Karabor, the Draenor would be extremely disheartened, and that would make conquering Shatrath a lot easier, which is great. The Orcs camped near a volcano outside the temple. They'd met little resistance on the way there, and everything seemed dandy. But then suddenly, explosion. Cyrook had taken form in the heart of the volcano and unleashed a firestorm which swept down the mountain. The orcs were absolutely bloody terrified, especially former shaman. They saw this attack as a sign that they'd angered the elements by embracing fell magic, and Gul'dan was a little bit annoyed. This could undo everything he'd been working for, but he came up with a plan. The elements had gathered all their power into one being, which meant they'd made themselves vulnerable, like a bunch of idiots. Gul'dan was going to steal their power for himself and destroy the orcs' connection to the elements once and for all. Because everything works out great for Gul'dan, the jerk, he gathered his Shadow Council followers on the volcano slopes, and they got started. Together, they wove an immense spell that shattered the being's physical form. Gul'dan also used the energies that were unleashed to infuse the other orcs with strength, and that was that. The Horde's soldiers were now more powerful than ever. Their connection to the elements had been severed. The Fell Volcano in Shadowmoon Valley would become known as the Hand of Gul'dan. Meanwhile, the Draenei were aware of the massive Horde army approaching, and had done quite a few things to prepare for the siege. Artificers strengthened the temple's defences, Vindicators and Rangari from Shatrath had been sent to Karabor, and were ready for battle. However, when the volcano erupted with fell energy, morale was lowered quite a bit. Many of the Draenei were still sceptical that the Orcs were in league with the Burning Legion, but now proof was right in front of them, in the form of a giant fell volcano. So they were like, oh bugger balls, I guess it's true. Velen walked among his people, imbuing them with the light and inspiring them with courage. He remained on the front lines even as the Horde reached the stronghold and unleashed their siege engines. The bombardment was relentless. The siege engines held boulders full of fell stuff at the walls until they crumbled, and the Orcs stormed through the breaches with murder in their eyes. The Draenei fought with a ferocity that the Orcs had never witnessed in them before. In fact, Velen and his army managed to somehow push the Horde back and hold them at bay, even though they were massively outnumbered. Victory actually seemed within reach. Is this the moment the story starts to get a bit lighter? Nope. Gul'dan and the Shadow Council turned their focus on the Dark Star, also known as Kara, drifting above Shadowmoon Valley. They had no idea it was a Naru, but they knew it was bloody powerful. The Shadowmoon Shaman had worshipped it, and it was against the law to tap into its energies. But Gul'dan didn't give a crap about the rules. They conducted a ritual that drew out the Dark Star's potent Void powers and channeled it on Karabor. Void energy slammed down onto the temple. Many of the Draenei defenders were instantly killed, and others drove to madness. Velen was fine though, of course he was. He rallied as many of the survivors as he could, and led them towards the harbour. As they sailed to safety, the Horde continued their assault. Karabor was lost. The influx of Void energy had permanently darkened the stronghold. In future, it would be known as the Black Temple. The Horde celebrated this victory in their own weird way. They stormed through the streets, decimating Draenei relics and rounding up survivors. Few were shown the mercy of a quick death, and many were taken as prisoner. Gul'dan immediately put dibs on the temple itself. He publicly declared it would be a fortress to house Draenei prisoners, but in truth, it was the new base of operations for the Shadow Council. He convinced Blackhand that separating the Council from the Citadel would maintain their secret from the rest of the Horde, but it was more about distancing himself from the Warchief, to be honest. Blackhand was always watching him, and it was annoying. The Shadow Council subjected the Draenei captives to brutal torture. They managed to gather quite a bit of information about Shatrath's defences. The city boasted a larger garrison than Karabor. It was going to be the toughest challenge the Horde would ever face. And we're leaving it there! In the next video, Manoroth arrives on Draenor, and the Orcs take their final steps towards becoming slaves to the Legion. If you enjoyed this video, like, subscribe, all of that bollocks. Also, there's a link to my Patreon in the description. But thanks very much for watching, and see ya!